Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Castle Freak. Castle Freak is a 1995 full moon horror film directed by Stuart Gordon and based on a story written by H.P. Lovecraft. According to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. It's also one of the best movies to ever come out of Full Moon Pictures. Castle Freak, not surprisingly, stars Jeffrey Combs as John Riley. Barbara Crampton plays his wife, Susan Riley. John learns he has inherited a castle in Italy when his late aunt passes away. So John, Susan, and their daughter, Rebecca, head to Europe to check it out. Rebecca was blinded in a car accident, which also left her younger brother JJ dead. John was driving at the time, drunk. This has obviously caused marital issues between John and Susan. John hopes the stay at the castle will be a new beginning for the two, but it isn't so. Susan is still reluctant to even touch John, and she requests that the maid set up a separate room so the two don't have to sleep together. Rebecca, though, hopes her parents will work things out. Unfortunately, things are about to get even worse for the Riley family. The castle they've inherited has a very dark history. And in the basement of the castle, there is a much darker secret. Someone or something has been chained up down there for a very long time. And it's hungry. Despite being on this list of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen, Castle Freak is definitely a fan favorite of those who have seen it. First of all, you have superb directing from Stuart Gordon, as always. Then, of course, you have his go-to actor and actress, Jeffrey Combs and Barbara Crampton. She will forever be one of my Scream Queen crushes. Barbara, I mean, not Jeffrey. The setting is fantastic. Not only was it filmed on location in Italy, but the castle is amazing. The creature effects of the freak are so disgusting and so good. And as Jason and I discussed, he has a certain compassion to him, which is really unique. That to me is a big part of why I love this movie so much. I'm obviously referring to the big reveal scene. It's oddly touching in a way. Like I said, for those who have seen it, Castle Freak is an absolute favorite among many. So much so that I know a lot of those same fans were hesitant to watch the remake, which was released last year. That is, however, my relatable recommendation. Castle Freak 2020. Now, I have already reviewed this one, so I won't say too much, other than this remake is similar enough to make it a remake and different enough to make it unique on its own. I described it as a Lovecraft love letter in my review, and I stand by that statement. This remake is awesome, and it also made my top five favorite horror movie list of 2020. Have you seen the original Castle Freak? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What will we watch next for the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe. <laughs>